but uh, welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna be doing the first impression ride of this 2022 Scout Rogue. So we're gonna be taking this bike out right now, uh, taking it around town, get some highway miles on it just to see how this little fair in the front deals with the wind. Um, just the overall feel of the bike. Um, and it's gonna be my first honest, just first impression. Um, I got on the bike the first time when it got delivered and I took it up the block and I brought it back and that was a few days ago and ever since then I haven't been on the bike so got some time today we're gonna get some seat time on it now with that being said make sure to tune in next week because by that time I should have my in-depth review on this bike I wanted this just to be my first impression video on it just to get on it give you guys my honest opinion as I'm getting on it just riding the bike for the first time out there um, and then we'll sit back we'll tone it down a bit and we'll go over all the specs and just a full in-depth review. Now, I also wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Indian Motorcycle for loaning me this bike. Um, I, I still don't know how long I have this for, but it, it's it's mine for now. Okay, enough talking. I just, let's just get on the road and, and get on this bike. All right, first time impression. When I got the bike delivered, I just literally took it off the block and came right back to my house. So that's not a ride. That's, I was literally just, I did this. So today's the first day, it's been a few days since then, that I'm gonna be able to take the bike out and, and ride it and let you guys know what I think. Um, now, last time I was on a Scout, it was just a regular Scout and that was, I'm gonna say that might've been like four years ago, maybe three years ago. Um, and I, I need to be honest with you guys, I wasn't a fan of that bike. Uh, look wise, I think the Scout looks really really cool. I think it's a beautiful bike. It looks it looks raw It looks Plain and simple. It's just a bike that you kind of want to get on and just Go and have fun with it and not worry about anything. It's just it's just there to go, right? It's a nice little cool peppy bike What I didn't like about the Scout was just the suspension. The suspension. I'm sorry. It was horrible, man uh it, it, it doesn't have enough travel on those rear shocks and then the, the 16 inch fat tire in the front and the back it was just i didn't like that at all man i it just it didn't feel right and then the clearance so you were like scraping pegs everywhere um and, and that's probably one of the reasons why even at first when i was out shopping for my first bike i went with the iron 883 over the scout because of those reasons now a few years later after that indian has kind of like reimagined the scout and we got this now so we got the bigger front wheel in the front now so now we have an 18 inch um mag wheel in the front which let me tell you it feels a lot better even right now just getting on the bike just it feels like it's more nimble now the seat on here is also different um at the feel of the touch it felt really really plush and even right now as I'm sitting, it feels really, really plush, real soft. I really like it. So I kind of want to see how this seat will be after putting, you know, a good 100 miles or so on it. Um, it does feel very narrow here in the front, in the crotchal area. Um, so I wish it just, it might've been like a little wider, but for the most part, the gel patty in it feels really good. And then what this bike brings is, and thank you Indian for sending me this bike in specific because this bike has suspension with exposed piggybacks right here that you can get uh, from the accessory line from Indian um, so thank you because I, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of the stock suspension on these bikes so this one feels a bit plush like I said I'm we're just literally I literally got on the bike right now and we're gonna be taking it out for a ride and I want to give you guys my in-depth thoughts on first impressions on the bike um, later during the week or maybe next week I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review after I get some good seat time on it um, and that's it so let's just go over a few little things here that this bike also brings which uh, just from the just from even sitting on this bike and taking off I'm a fan of already is these 10 inch mini apes right here they feel really good, really comfortable. They're at a really good position. I have a little slight bend to my elbow right here. 
Um, and then the, the, the seating position is it's, it's good. I prefer this a lot better. So that's another thing that I really didn't like about the regular Scout when I first got on it is because I was kind of hunched over, stretched over because of how low those bars are on there. And then the fact that it has kind of like, you know, four controls, you're like, it, it's, it's like a weird position for me. I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm a big fan of mid controls. So even these, these these four controls that they're 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 okay, but I'm a, I'm a fan of mid controls, um, you know, tall risers, 10 inch, eight inch risers. That that that's my type of style, my type of riding style. But as far as the uh, you know ergonomics right now with the with the 10 inch mini apes right now, and then the four controls here, like I I feel okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's fun man it's fun um let's talk about the uh the little fairing in the front i i really really like it i really 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 like it beautiful design we'll get on the highway later and really test it out see how uh how much wind this little fairing is taking off of us i'm thinking it's not gonna be that much but it's you know anything in the front always helps out a lot Especially when you're doing, you know, big highway miles and uh, that, that really fatigues you a lot. Just having all that wind just hitting up against your chest and this taking all that off allows you to keep riding out there more and more. Now, when Indian first came out with this bike, I, I looked at it and I'm like, why is Indian making a brand new Scout and then putting a brand new name in it? Like, oh, here's our brand new road. Like, it's a different bike. And I just didn't understand the concept. I thought it was a, a bit gimmicky, like, oh, like, we're just going to throw a name out there. Um, to my understanding at that time, I, I, I kind of didn't know everything that they kind of did to this bike. I was like, okay, they changed the wheel and they put a fairing on it. Now it's called the Rogue. And um, that was it. I was a little turned off by that. But looking more into the bike uh, and what they did, um, I, I understand it now, man. I, I understand it, and I'm happy they... They did the changes that they did. I mean, we got the fairing, we have the 10 inch mini apes, we have the 19 inch wheel in the front. Um, a lot thinner than, than that fat wheel that the regular Scout comes with. Um, and then this is the 1133, so it's packing up a good amount of power here for such a small bike. And at that, it's very nimble. So this bike, what? It's around 547 pounds, 545 pounds. Um, so it, it, with that being said, like just the front wheel in the front, the thin wheel, bigger wheel, just it's so agile. Feels really, really good. Feels like you kind of throw it around anywhere. All right, so I love coming around here because you could kind of really lean the bikes over really good. And check that lean angle, so. It is a lot better. Huge difference with the 9 inch wheel in the front. A lot more clearance. I like. I like. Slight little spray, but not much. So real quick, down below in the comments, I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about the Scout Rogue so far from a viewer's perspective, uh, just on how the bike looks. Uh, if you have one or if you have ridden one, tell me what you think about it as well. Uh, but I'm very eager to know what everybody thinks about this bike. Little, uh, bring it up to a little higher speeds right here. Test out the uh, wind. Uh. Thanks, guys. Thanks. So I gotta say, at 80, 
it does the job it definitely keeps all that wind off of you you sure to get some buffering and you're gonna feel a lot of that wind right around here kind of on the top of my neck and my helmet but most of the heavy wind is off my chest which is what you really want now up ahead here th this is the most sketchiest bump there is around here man right here in the curve Whoop. Whoop. Ooh. yeah you see that <laughs> that bump is so sketchy <laughs> yeah that little fairing does a job this bike is pretty fun man <laughs> like it's so light it's small and nimble and it's just it's fun this is a type of bike that you would want if you're looking for something that's very minimal uh, something they can get in and out of traffic quick and just raw and American this is this is it man I think the first car that I ever tested if I'm not mistaken it might only have five gears so this one has six it's a liquid cooled engine so you're not gonna be out there burning up on those super hot days engine's gonna run a lot more cooler and gonna be jam-packed with a lot more power i would really love to hear what this bike sounds with a with a nice two to one pipe in it man I'm, I'm a huge fan of the indian sound when it's tuned properly and has a you know real nice exhaust on it they make a really really nice sound jerry over here jerry's a huge fan of this bike a huge huge fan he's an indian lover now throttle response at like when you're at six gear the the throttle response when you want a lot more power is in isn't the best i'll say that so if you're gonna want a lot more power you're gonna have to um downshift and get it up there a lot but this bike is not meant for that another bump and that was a little one I gotta say the the suspension is absorbing everything really really good really good not bad man not bad at all like i really like this i'm 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 genuinely having a good time on this bike right now like it's fun now is it this crazy bike that's jam-packed with a ton of torque and power and it's a monster no it's it's not that it's not that whoa oh damn hopped over there hit the car holy snap at least they're okay now is it a bike you can get on and have fun and just kind of bring it up to its limits yes you could juice it and get a lot of fun out of this bike and on top of that the most important thing it looks really cool it's a really nice looking bike i gotta tell you one thing man and i'm really surprised the braking on here is actually pretty good it has one disc in the front and one disc in the back but even with that the, the bike power is actually really good you know we had to do it up today we gotta stop by over here stop by nino's at sal's shop get some pizza for you shorter riders this is the bike for you i'm 5'7 and this is what it looked like on the bike. I'm really comfortable. I'm able to flat foot this bike without an issue. It's really nice. Um, you got a halogen headlight there. So Indian, I mean, come on. We could we could do an LED for the headlight. We do have LED for turn signals though. So that's a plus. What do you think, man? Well, how did I uh, how did I look on this? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, there's a key here, guys. No key fob. Let me take that with me. Should I leave this here? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I gotta tell you something. That's fucking Sicilian. I'm all Jersey right here. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. 
hilarious. What's that? Ooh, margarita. Ooh, forget about it. Hey, I mean, I told everyone this is the best Sicilian old jersey, man. Right? You like that new emoji? <laughs> Guess what? Mmm, it's good, man. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's a good aftertaste, too. Mmm. So does that good. I like. Too bad, too bad peanuts isn't here. I know. Right? 